Hey, what's going on everyone? Eric here with Proactive Intuition and in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how I would go about investing $1,000. Alright guys, so if you only have $1,000 to invest, how do you go about investing it? Do you put it in the stock market? Do you put it into Bitcoin or cryptocurrency? Like, how do you go about investing $1,000? Well guys, if I only had $1,000, my investing approach is drastically different than if I had, say, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, $100,000, because it's such a different amount of money. So, if I only had $1,000 to invest, I wouldn't be putting it in stocks or crypto or any of those things because even if you did get lucky and you were able to double that thousand dollars it only puts you at two thousand dollars and let's just face it the reality is there's not that much of a difference between a thousand and two thousand dollars now if you could do that quickly and you could duplicate that investment over and over then yes it would definitely be worth it but that's unfortunately not reality if you're going to be investing in stocks and crypto you might be able to do it but you might also lose all your money so how do we actually invest a thousand dollars intelligently well if you're just getting it started in investing the number well not the number one but one of the best investors in the world Warren Buffett he says the number one investment you can make is in yourself and you may have heard that quote before as it's you know kind of cliche and thrown around the personal development industry but it's so true. Every time I invest in myself, in, when I say invest in myself, I'm talking about improving my skill set so that I can increase my active income so that I can actually funnel more money into my investment. So instead of just starting with $1,000, I can put money into myself, increase my annual income by $20,000, dollars $50,000, $50, and then I can invest you know, $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 dollars per month into an investment. So. That's how I would get started. And there's several different things you can do to invest in yourself. So one of the, my favorite ways that's actually very inexpensive is books. Books are a great way to invest if you have very little money. You can sign up for Audible, which is a uh, audiobook platform. It's 15 bucks a month. Uh, and you could do that to keep learning. You could order books on Amazon. You could get books. I mean, books are very inexpensive. You're looking at taking, you know, 30 years or 40 years of people's life experience in a particular industry that you want to learn about. And, you know, maybe you're paying 20 bucks for a book to get all that life experience. So if you can digest that information and implement it, there's a ton of great information in books. And in fact, if you want to see my book recommendations, I have a whole Google PDF of all my top books that I recommend that have helped me out in my life uh, that you can access for free by checking out that link below. Okay, guys, the number two thing I would do to invest in myself would be seminars or live events. Now... I do want to tell you that you want to be careful with these because there is some, you know, guys out there that are kind of like fake gurus that will kind of swindle you or it's just a big sales pitch fest and they just try to sell, sell, sell. They don't really provide any real value. So you do want to be careful with what events you attend. But guys, I can tell you there's been several different events that I've attended that have just absolutely changed the game for me. You just want to make sure that you do your research on the speakers and if they have good reputation and you know basically that you can make sure it's something that you'd actually get value out of and that the people that are teaching the seminar or course or whatever it is actually provide you real value that will actually help you get results. So that's the last thing is uh, courses. Now courses can be anything from like in-person classes at a college that might help you out with improving your skill set. You know, if you want to be like a writer or something, I'm sure there's a lot of really great writing classes. Or it could even be online classes. That's what I prefer. I like to learn from people who have actual results. So if you wanted to learn about a specific area of business, like if you want to become a world-class chef, go find a world-class chef that has a cooking class that's, you know, it could be in person, it could be online, and learn everything you can from that person because they've already gone through the journey and you can, you know, avoid making years and years of mistakes that I'm sure that person made and avoid that learning curve, you know, skip that learning curve of all those things and just amplify your results that much quicker. You know, one of the things I did is I took a phone reselling course. I was already reselling items out of my house and at garage sales and thrift stores, I took a reselling course 
uh, on phones and it made it so I could quit my nine to five job and made it so I made more than I did at my corporate job and it's made it so I can work on my own terms. And I just dove into that course, applied everything that uh, my mentor taught me in that course and it's made it so I've become self-employed and I can, you know, kind of take more control of my life and, and work on my own terms. And I'm a much happier individual by being able to do that. But that's what I would do is whatever area of business you want to go into, I would highly recommend finding someone that has already gotten results in that industry and just model what they did. And usually you can get all that information in a course very cheap, usually under a $1,000. Um, you know, some courses are more than that, but for the most part, most of them are under a thousand bucks. So that's what I'd recommend. I know it's kind of cliche. You might have been wanting me to tell you like, oh, invest in this stock or invest in this area. But honestly, if you could increase your income and you can stack, you know, 10, 20, 30, $40,000, then you're talking about a different ball game of how you can go about your investing. So I hope that video helped you guys out. If you want actual like more tangible advice on like, hey, what can I invest once I do get more money? I highly encourage you to click on the link below. I have a free Facebook group where I share how I go about investing my own personal money and how I go about managing my personal finances. If you wanna check that out, check out the free Facebook group. You can click on the link below to access that. And with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see everyone next time. Take care.